I'm proud of my community in South King County, the opportunity I had to stand with community members and uh, uh, in several locations on several days, um, speaking up against police brutality and racism and supporting our neighbors. Um, and as I listen to community members, particularly African-American community members, what I hear isn't just anger at the murder of George Floyd, but what I hear is a lot of pent up frustration, not only with the repeated incidents of racist killings by police agencies around the country, but a greater frustration with the institutional racism throughout the criminal justice system, but also a sense that the political system isn't working for them, that people who are in power are able to pull the levers of power and that there are a lot of forgotten Americans. And it's really caused me to do a lot of reflection about, you know, the way in which we've failed, the way in which I've failed, the way in which the nine of us have failed. You know, I've been on this council six years, seven, uh, yeah, seven now in an office a long time. And why is it these problems keep coming up? And what is it I've been able to do or not been able to do to contribute to solutions? And I think we need to think bigger and we need to be bolder. We probably need to take more political risks um, and not always take the path of least resistance because these are difficult problems, but, and the solutions that have been identified by previous speakers are all ones that I strongly support. And I have a hunch most of these have majority support of this council. It's just figuring out how to get there. And I realized you know, when you start talking to someone who's not part of the inside game like we are, who aren't one of the elected officials, and we start, when they say, how come you don't have independent oversight of the police? And we start talking about, well, you know, there's binding arbitration and, and you know, we the contract's only up for renewal this many years. And we get, it actually sounds silly trying to explain that to other people. At the end of the day, they look to us to have the leadership to move these big things. And so I think we probably need to think more strategically together as a group, uh, whether it's around police accountability or whether it's around issues relating to economic inequality, uh, uh, tackling the issues of institutional racism or criminal justice system about how do we do those big things. We control, we really control two things, the, the county budget and county ordinances. That's our specific power, but we also have voices and platforms and the ability to shape um, responses at the state level and, and throughout the region. And so, uh, you know, my heart aches for a lot of people who are feeling trauma right now because of everything that's happening. You know, I want my constituents to know that I do believe Black Lives Matter and that I stand with them and am proud to be part of a county council that's recommitting ourselves to um, hopefully making some progress in addressing some of these systemic issues and look forward to working with my colleagues to do that.